So, day three of our reflections on the Holy Spirit between uh, Ascension and Pentecost. And today we're looking at the inspiring Spirit. We're looking at the way that the Holy Spirit uh, helped to write the Bible. There's many, many books in the world, and we've got a few here, but uh, there is one book that stands out above all others, and that is, of course, uh, the Bible. Now, why is that? Well, because, uh, as it says in here, in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16, all Scripture is God-breathed or inspired by God, and it's useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. One of the great works that the Holy Spirit did was to inspire the writers who put together the 66 books of the Bible. And uh, the Spirit breathed the Scriptures into existence. As Peter says, uh, the prophets, though they were human beings, they were moved by the Spirit, carried along by the Spirit, so that what they conveyed in their own human words was also the message that God wanted to deliver. So one of the great marks of being filled with the Holy Spirit is that we have a greater love for the Bible. When we uh, are filled with God's Spirit, then we want to be filled with the words of this good book so that we can think God's thoughts after Him, so we can know what He wants, and indeed so we can get to know Him better. So let's pray now that God would fill us with His Spirit and that the Spirit would give us a love for the words which He inspired. God, our Heavenly Father, we pray that You would send Your Holy Spirit powerfully upon us for Jesus Christ's sake. Fill us with a love for the Scriptures which He inspired that we may be made more like Jesus. We pray it in His name. Amen. See you soon for the next of our reflections. God bless.